Cure to Shen Cares is a program where we travel once a month to new locations across the nation to bring together the community and the scientists who are working hard to find the cure for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetic disorder which creates muscle wasting in boys, with the boy's life expectancy reaching about age 30. My son was diagnosed about two weeks ago. I've just left two doctor's appointments who told me there are, is no treatment and there's no cure. And I have a wonderful, thriving five-year-old. And to be told that five, for no hope, that's not something you want to hear. I want him to grow up and get to just have a chance. I want him to have a life. And he's already asked me if this is going to be his last birthday. To see young families newly diagnosed at these events, at that point, it's so raw, so fresh, so, oh my God, what you, it's like you just handed me a death sentence on my son. She needs to know that we are right there. Your, your boy has a chance. To be able to hear from professionals, to hear from other families who've walked that road. Starting out, you don't really know where to start. You don't know who to turn to or which path to take. You think you're on an island. You think you're the only one who has these problems. Turns out there's a room full of people. Connecting with other families really helps to play a part in keeping your sanity. And it also gives you hope. The most valuable for us was hearing from professionals, like this is where the research is at. Here are the things medication-wise that are available to you and to your family. To be able to come and meet with families and patients and see what they're facing is deeply inspiring. This boy never made dystrophin in his life, but now by one step of gene editing to correct the mutation, you can induce these cells to uh, form dystrophin. As an investigator myself, I learned so much from interacting with patients and their families, and Cure Duchenne Cares has really enabled that to happen. We can be aware, but awareness without any funding is not going to do us any good. We, we've got to have the money to get the research that's needed to find a cure. The most important component right now is money. And the more we talk about it, and the more people contribute, and the more fundraising happens, and it grows and grows and grows. Our son, he's never given up hope. He believes that this disease will be cured. I can't even imagine what that would feel like. It would just be, okay, I have my son back. Like, I don't have to think about, you know, burying him in a couple of years. I feel like this workshop really helped us that there is something available. There's something coming. And if we all just kind of push towards that, that goal and, and have that, that mindset. In the end, we're going to win. It's my hope and prayer that nobody has to go through this. Being this group of people who all know where we're coming from, who've all had the same gut punches that we've had, it has given me more than a million dollars could give me. I really do believe that. I can do this path. There's a lot of happiness and life on this path. It's not going to be filled with devastation.